Hi everyone, I'm Jasmine and this is my channel, The Curious White Coat. I am a first year resident doctor, AKA intern or PGY1, and I'm specializing in neurology. I actually started this channel as a fourth year medical student to share my experiences with all of the curious people who wanted to get a behind the scenes look at the world of medicine. So I moved up to Atlanta for residency a couple weeks ago, and I wanted to use this video to share what I've been doing. So in summary, I love it here. <laughs> it's only been two weeks, but I honestly feel like a part of me, I could picture myself living here long-term. Um, so a few things about Atlanta. All of the places that I have visited so far have been very cute. I've been to like the Buckhead area, Midtown, downtown, all over, and even like the little, um, I guess, suburbs with all the little nice houses and like these mountains, I guess a Floridian would call them, but they're more like hills <laughs> and they just have so much lush greenery. And I'm, I feel like when autumn comes, it's going to be absolutely gorgeous with all of like the leaves changing color. Even Emory's campus has some really picturesque spots on there. Just walking across campus, you can see like the School of Medicine building and some other buildings there are made out of this marble or travertine or whatever kind of stone you call that and it's absolutely gorgeous um and fun fact the cdc is like right across the street from emory so i knew that like during the interview trail but it didn't occur to me until uh right before orientation i had to go up there for uh, this workshop and i accidentally parked in the cdc parking lot because they are right next to each other it's literally across the street so <laughs> it was easy to get mixed up but i just think that's really cool and i want to add that to my list if they have like visitor tours to be able to go inside and like look around and just see everything there because how awesome would that be and i hope i'm not jinxing myself when i say this but what traffic <laughs> like literally what traffic i was expecting there to be five lanes across stand still nobody's moving people just laying on their horns trying to swerve around like that level of miami rush hour of doom traffic and that has not happened yet and i've driven out like several times during what i think are rush hour like seven to nine in the morning five to seven in the evening and i just haven't seen it i'm starting to think that maybe the terrible traffic that people talk about here is for anyone who lives like on the outskirts or uh, like maybe from another city and the suburbs or something like that and then they have to drive into the Atlanta metropolitan area because maybe there could be traffic there but I kind of live in the center of Atlanta so I'm close to everything I guess I'm just not headed in that right direction <laughs> to be able to experience all of that but um I can understand how people will be like oh yeah I'm from Atlanta but really they're maybe from a side city or something because I mean that's how I would describe my hometown because no one would know where that was otherwise um but yeah the traffic is just beautiful <laughs> the traffic is beautiful in comparison to when I had to drive almost an hour to get to my med school from my first apartment and I only lived seven miles away so there was a lot of just sitting there and moving maybe 20 feet every like 15 minutes it was terrible <laughs> so after that maybe it's just relative nothing can be worse than that level of traffic for me <laughs> so what have I been doing since I got here um last week last wednesday we started orientation we were able to go to campus and meet everyone in the categorical i am program and all of the different ty's in the intern class uh, there are a bunch of different tracks represented in our ty class so there's derm radiology anesthesiology neurology of course and ophthalmology we have representation from all of those to um, get a TY spot here, you actually have to receive an interview to an uh, invitation to interview at one of those advanced specialties and the specialties that I just listed. Um, so for example, I applied to neurology for residency because that's the only specialty that I wanted to go into. And if I did not, if I hadn't received an interview from Emory Neurology, then I wouldn't have been able to apply an interview for a TY spot. 
uh, specifically because those TY spots are reserved for people who get into those advanced programs. For neurology, it's like a linked that your TY is your PGY1 and then neuro starts PGY2 onward. So that's kind of how it works. On our first day, we got to try on different long white coats to confirm our size and also what we wanted the embroidered name to say when it says like MD or doctor and all that. Um, so our official doctor color is sky blue like this. So I got some matching shoes, some cute clove sneakers to go with it. And I'm very excited to wear those. Um, we had uh, this segment on intern survival skills where we learned how to have an effective workflow, you know, like a game plan for tackling your daily tasks. And then we also had this pretty entertaining uh, professionalism workshop, kind of telling us like what you should wear, how you should interact with people, different things like that. And it was actually given to us by Dr. Kimberly Manning, who goes by at Grady Doctor on Twitter. So I follow her. I enjoy following her. I think you should probably give her a follow too. We have done so much so far. We've had EMR training. We have individual orientations for all the different hospitals that we're gonna go to. We had this uh, skills and procedures lab. <laughs> Actually, kind of turned out to be a little funny. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably already saw the story, but they um, had this l workshop that was entitled Leadership Skills. So we all like walk in, all of us unsuspecting interns, and the scenario turns out to be an ACLS simulation. <laughs> so it was definitely a wake up call first thing in the morning. And one of our chief residents actually told us how on her first day of intern year, literally day one, she walks into the hospital and her very first patient ends up being involved in a code blue. So I do not want that for my day one, not for my patient's health, not for my sanity, just no thank you. <laughs> so I'm glad that we've been able to go through some of these things to kind of prep us for July 1st. I actually already received my schedule um, a little while ago. So I have seven months of wards. Uh, one of those is neurology. A month in the ICU, a month in the ED, a one month of ambulatory five rotations in different electives that I get to choose. Um, and there's probably something in there that I'm forgetting. Um, but yeah, on top of everything, we've had quite a few like welcome dinners and meet and greet events. And so that's been really nice. However, us neuro interns actually met up over Zoom like a little ways after like match day. And we met again before orientation and I can already tell that they are like a really great bunch of, of people. We ended up on one of our chief residents, his rooftop, and we were all doing like our own version of karaoke and we were singing along with like Mulan and Shania Twain and like the top of our lungs and it was just a really great time. And we've hung out quite a bit since then. And I'm just really excited to go through residency with my cohort. I am glad that we all landed together. And one of the things that I was really looking forward to about Emory was the people. And I can already tell that that's becoming a reality. So I'm just grateful for the fact that I'm able to be here and to be able to start off my career as a doctor here. Tomorrow we have GME orientation and then Thursday we have orientation for the individual hospitals that we'll be starting at. And then Friday is when all of the work begins. Today I have some errands that I have to run to end up finishing up my apartment. Um, and then I found an aerial silks class in the area that I'm gonna try later on tonight. Please wish me luck <laughs> for my first day as a doctor working. And thank you so much for watching this video. I'm gonna try to get out more videos for this channel. I know that I'm gonna be super busy, but I'm gonna give it my best. And you can actually follow me on Instagram at the Curious White Coat um, to see where I put like my day-to-day -day, like vlogs and daily recaps. But I'm also gonna try to post those videos on this channel too. So take care. Thank you again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can see more videos about my experience as a doctor and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.